Hey guys, got some food cooking, so I figure why not do a Let's Play SimCity 4. Uh, as you see, we're back in Funky Town. I've gone ahead and begun... Can I zoom out anymore? Yes, I can. I've gone ahead and begun zoning the left-hand side, connecting up in the middle, like I said I was going to do. I want to go ahead and begin uh, completing Funky Town. I'll begin doing the top a little bit later. I do like Funky Town. Do so like Funky Town. In fact, and I'll go ahead and do a little bit of work here. Uh, in fact, I would even go so far as to say that uh, probably not connected. Oh, well, they might be. I'd probably even go so far as to say that, in my opinion, just just little my opinion. I think my little grand city of Funky Town that uh, you see here may just be the grandest city that I have seen in a Let's Play. Again, my opinion, my opinion, sorry. I might be a little bit biased. But that is my opinion. Um, unfortunately, that does bring me to some good news and... And a little bit of bad news. I'm sure you can guess what it is. I mean, we're rapidly working to go ahead and complete Funky Town, as you see. We're doing some zoning, which, as you, which is also a new thing. They do like zoning here. I'm still having to kick and strangle them over here. I think maybe I'm not building enough residential here at a time. They don't like building in small packs like this. I don't know. Because over here, where they're all nice and clustered, no problems. Over there, problems. So, I don't know. But right, good news, bad news. Um, good news is that we're almost done with Monkey Town. I know a lot of you guys have been dying to see what this city is going to look like once it is finished. And next couple episodes, you're going to get your wish. Unless, you know, time doesn't start moving again. Just this episode is doing that as well. I have a city over to the left. It's got... I don't even know. About... Mm, 700, 800,000 total. Between, you know, people and jobs. Here, fraction of that. I can only assume that it's some of the custom content that I've got. Oh well. But, it'll look nice, that's the important thing. And we'll be done with it soon enough. And because we'll be done with it soon enough, that brings me to the bad news. I'm sure you all know it's coming. It's pretty obvious. Uh, I would imagine that it is, in fact, pretty obvious, but has to be said, go ahead and say it. Since we are going to be done with this grand city of Funky Town, I have to say that we'll be, of course, completing or trying to complete an even better city that will put Funky Town to shame. Because one thing that I have learned about doing this city is how I could have done it a lot better. And I have ideas on how I could make such a better city than you even see here with Funky Town. And I really want to go ahead and try it. I so really, really want to go ahead and try it. I'm almost positive I could just completely put this city that you see before you to just absolute shame. I've learned a lot of lessons from creating this city. I know I can do a lot better. So I'm looking forward to doing that. However, it's going to take a lot of trial and error. I'm going to have to mess around with some stuff. I'm not going to use any demand cheats or anything like that. You do see a lot of uh, videos on YouTube about cities that were created by demand cheats that simply were designed to flood 6,000 demand of everything and just stay there. So it doesn't matter what they put in there or 
whatever else. They're always going to get demand, max demand for every building. And you know, no, no, no offense to anyone who plays that way. I don't care if uh, you like playing the game that way. This is a freaking game. If that's how you want to play it. Then, well, go ahead, play it that way. You know, if that's the way you enjoy it. More power to you. But I think I can make uh, something that's just going to put the city to shame without doing any of those kind of cheats. So don't worry about that. Got some nice buildings coming in here. Is this place building? Uh, a little bit, but not quite yet. I guess this area is under most of the development right now. So yeah, I intend to do that. However, like I said, it's going to take a while to go ahead and get everything right. A lot of experimentation. I don't really want to go ahead and show that so much. Instead, I'll wait to show that till I have a pretty good idea of what I'm doing. And then I'll probably just show it in spurts. Since a lot of it's going to be uh, repetitive of what I've already done. But one thing I want from you guys, and this is important. I'm going to be needing, not giving too much away, I'm going to be needing city names. So I want you guys, again, to come up with names for cities. Uh, the city that's going to be better than Bunky Town, I want a name for it. If I like your name, I'll even make you the mayor of it. But I'm also going to be needing surrounding city names. So, and I do mean a lot of surrounding city names. So anyone and everyone suggest a name for a city, I can't imagine not taking it unless it's something completely profane and vulgar. And I'll probably want to, I probably won't do that. Because I have some kids watching my stream. I don't want to err on my stream, but uh, my videos, so... I'm going to keep it relatively decent. Sorry about that. But, never fear. Let's look over here. Darn, still not building up yet. They got power. Give them water. I forget that all the time. Alright, give them water. Only matter of time then, I guess. But, uh, yeah. While I'm doing that, though, I uh, want to give you guys something to watch besides my Drakensan LP. So I'll probably go back and visit Cities XL. I think while I'm messing around um, off camera with SimCity to get that city up and running and gonna turn out how I hope it to. Again, try not to reveal too much. I think I'll go ahead and do an LP of uh, Sims XL while I'm doing that, just so you guys have something to watch. I know it was heavily voted for besides uh, the Rock and Song, so I'll probably go ahead and uh, give you guys a little bit of that while I'm working on it. So that's pretty much my announcements for uh, the day. This is absolutely insane. There's no commercial office. Maybe I don't have that much desirability for it over here. Let's go ahead and mess with desirability. Uh, for that, we'll take some large plazas and just go plonk. Plonk. And, uh, maybe, maybe a plonk over here. Maybe that'll get something rolling. Um, ha! What the heck? Ho, 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 how in the bejesus am I making over a hundred thousand more a month than I'm losing? Transport? What? Dear God, how much does it cost to travel in my city? What the heck? A hundred and seventy-eight thousand? How? What changed? What changed? Did... Did this change? That... Are you telling me... 21,000... Is it the Bridgets? Are you just milking people left and right at my Bridgets now? Now that they're in use? That's gotta be a bug. I updated my NAM recently in my network add-on mod, which is giving me, you know, bridges and cool things like that. 
Is one of them bugged? I shouldn't be getting 178,000 a month from this crap. From my mass transit. The fares on my mass transit. But mass transit's not bridges. Mass transit is things like... Yeah, when they elevated the rail and... My monorail. Oh, I did put this in too though. Is this being used? Is that getting off of my f um, what is it? It doesn't show up, it's labeled them as pedestrians. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, mystery, I'll try to s figure that one out later. But, dear god, that's a lot of money. But yeah, those are my announcements. Uh, could be making a much better city than what you see here. Still got demand for residential, so I guess I'll try and make them build up somehow. Um, I think I know why you guys aren't building. Let's pause this. You've got the main library, no opera house. So you don't have libraries, you don't have... Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. They don't have a local branch library, or any library to speak of for that matter, so that's bad. Rich people need their niceties, they need some place to go. So now you have some place to go. Got yourself a museum, you got yourself a library. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and give you a softball stadium, let's go ahead and give you a soccer field. I don't know. Here, I guess. Whatever. Actually, other way. Away from the station. There we go. That ought to be some niceties for them. They need their leisure. And frozen. Once that unfreezes itself, I should see if it uh, works or not. Didn't forget uh, anything else, though. Did forget to give that power. I plan on expanding all the way over there, obviously. So until then, we've got this. <laughs> we've got this little minor league stadium out in the middle of nowhere. But yeah, I hope you guys look forward to all that. Do give me those names. I do need those names. They are very, very important. Because I don't want to have to try to come up with them all by myself. Alright, I'm playing there. And I don't really want to move it, because I think it just sped up a little bit, but sorry. Yeah, see immediately. I don't think I was demand capped, let's check. No, wasn't demand capped. But you do need those uh, niceties for them. Places to go have fun, like the soccer field, the softball field. You need to make sure they've got things like um, libraries, museums. need all that kind of stuff for them. Because rich people are picky. And contrarily, I guess you could, if you want to design a city, uh, maybe s with like just rich areas in like little pockets, then just deny those in other places, concentrate them somewhere, and I guess that's uh, probably what you'll get in your cities. So I guess that works too. Alright, uh... Well, it seems to be doing very well. They're building up very slow at first, though. Notice that? It's kind of strange. Got a demand for it. Oh, I need a huge demand for high tech. I need to address that immediately, yeah. Oh, some larger buildings are coming up over here, though, so that's cool. So, it's just taking a while to straighten it all out, because I've kind of split it in half. I guess that makes sense. That makes sense. Um... Oh, lagzord. Lagzord. Frames. Frames. I could connect all of that. Whatever. Let's see if we can just do it this way. Do, 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 do. 
and they already have the infrastructure in place. They've got water, they've got, uh, most of them have water, and, you know, mass transit. Did I hook up the mass transit, though? I don't know if I did. Alright, it's all good to go. Though, you know, I kind of want to hook up. Whatever. I, I might change the way this is going later, but seriously, until I do, until I address this, which apparently I'm addressing, because that's kind of died off a bit. Let's just go ahead and link some of this stuff out. There we go. So now they're all connected. They can get over there. And it'll probably redline like some of these others, but whatever. But alright, yeah, those are my announcements. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, mostly... Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and end this episode. Like I've said many times already, send in those names. Look forward to a little Cities XL. And for the next couple episodes of Some City, we should have Funky Town all nice and finished. There they go. Now they're building over there. Cool. So yeah, look forward to that. I shall see you next time.